We left the beautiful island of Kos in Greece and are excited to be heading northeast to Bodrum, Turkey. It's only 10 miles away. There's not enough wind to fill the sails, so we are motoring. Bajum is on the Icarian coast. It and its neighboring coastlines are known as the Turkish Riviera, which we look forward to exploring. Geographically, Turkey is on a peninsula, the Anatolia Peninsula, also known as Asia Minor. Being in Turkey will help us save some of our Schengen visa time for the return trip through Greece. Hello, Badrum. In Turkey, it's customary for cruisers to hire an agent to help with the port of entry paperwork, so we will meet with the agent first. While we're waiting, we're practicing steering the boat in reverse, because sailboats can be uncooperative sometimes in reverse, especially sailboats with a full keel, like ours. We plan to tie up stern two at the port of entry dock. Armella will be at the helm steering in reverse, and I will be at the bow ready to release the anchor to secure our position. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yay! A big thank you to my former fourth grade student for that voiceover. Have you ever heard of the Great Mausoleum of Halicarnassus? Well, this was its home in 353 BC. It was built as a tomb and monument for the Greek leader Mausolus. The word mausoleum is based on his name. It was considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Unfortunately, the structure did not survive multiple earthquakes throughout the centuries, but the monument lives on in the castle of St. Peter. In 1402, the Knights of St. John, a.k.a. Knights Hospitaller, used the ruins of the monument to build the castle. Bodrum got its name from the castle of St. Peter. In Latin, Peter is Petras. In the medieval age, the town became known as Petrum, which evolved to Bodrum. In 1523, the chapel inside the castle was converted to a mosque and a minaret was added. Fast forward to the 1960s, the castle became the home of the Bodrum Museum of Underwater Archaeology. We parked the dinghy on the beach of a random restaurant, and Mark thought it was a good idea to at least make a reservation for later in the evening since we walked straight through it to get to the town. And the reservation came with some good surprises. When Mark made a reservation at this restaurant, we were not aware of its history or of the surprises that would unfold. The owner was a wonderful host. You choose the yummy mezes that you want to eat by row. The last row is the meat. Awesome. Here we are. Thank you 
so much. This is a peach tzatziki. Yeah. That we're trying. Normal tzatziki. Experimenting, and that's delicious. You said that was a that's a normal tzatziki. Yeah. <laughs> because we had it with the uh, zucchini bread, uh, artichokes. Yeah. And these are cherries with Great a leaf. cheese is coming and some lamb kebabs. Yeah. Everything was delicious. He wrote about sailing, about the boat. He started his journey from Istanbul, and then he sails all the way to... Sadum Boro, by his wife Oda, is the first Turkish seafarer to circumnavigate the world in a small sailboat like ours, which was not common in the 1960s. And he made all his around trip in three years, all the way back to Istanbul. The name, this man, is the name of the boat. Yes, starting 23 of August, that is his wife finishes it in the of June, like this day. Okay. And then he has a very small like room upstairs with his some lungs. So there's a newspaper when they start their journey in Istanbul. When he come back from the trip, this is the second newspaper. Everybody in Istanbul, you see the crowd? How many <laughs> yeah. people to welcome, welcome him. them? Yes. This is the boat he ordered to build. So we send them to the museum. So those are his own books, all his own maps. That is awesome. Thank you for sharing. When the daughter of Sadun and Oda sold her parents' home, she asked that future owners honor her parents' memory. I think she'd be happy with this particular owner's efforts. We're on our way to pick up our Turk Cell SIM card. There were many towers throughout Turkey. We had no problems with cell service. We were tickled pink to learn Herodotus was born here. He was a Greek historian, often referred to as the father of history. Our next destination is Marmaris, but on the way we will stop at the Dacha and Bosburn Peninsulas and celebrate Mark's birthday. We look forward to sharing those adventures. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching! Peace!